Hello, my name is Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Nextcloud with MySQL using the Linux server do Docker image on Dockage. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs, from installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we installed today, Linux server, Nextcloud. This is the Linux server version. Um, you can store photos, documents, and uh, it's kind of like Dropbox. So um, th this is the one that we will be installing, and we'll be setting up the MySQL database uh, se separately and then connecting to it. So this is what will be installed today. So now I'm going to show you some screenshots of what it looks like. Um, re regain control of your data. Um, this is some screenshots. And um, a Nextcloud hub, Nextcloud use cases, and um, if we go up to the products, you can go to files. You can see that it has a really nice fi files interface. I kind of like what Dropbox does. A Nextcloud uh, fi fi files, secure cl cloud storage, um, workflow management. So that's a little bit about what we'll be installing today. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Video Assets. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. And I'm going to go to the search box over here. I'm going to type Nextcloud and then Dockage. So now we, we have how to install a Linux server, Nextcloud, and MySQL on Dockage right here. I'm going to go to the file. file. And then I'm going to go to the Docker Compose. So version 3 of Docker Compose file format is being used. I'm going to set some services. And then the first service underneath the services is called Big Bear Nextcloud. The image is coming off of Linux server, and then it's going to be coming off of Docker Hub by default because there's no year before this. Uh, this is the Docker image. This is the Docker image tag. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Nextcloud. And why I don't use the latest tag on um, the Docker images is because I like to control the versions, and it's safer that way. So environment variables, so the user ID and the group ID, and then the time zone. So I would set this to your own time zone. And then volumes. So Nextcloud config is on the host side, and that is a local volume that's defined down in the bottom. And then on the container side is config. You do not change the container side. Either ports or volumes do not change the container side unless you have control over the Docker file. And then Nextcloud data, this is on the host side too, and this is local volume that's defined down at the bottom. And then on the container side is data. But the ports, so 7580 is on the host. If this does cloud with another port on your host, you can change it. And then on the container is 443. So this will be using a self-signed certificate, so we'll have to uh, to 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 uh, go past that when we actually go to the UI. And restart unless stopped. So that means if you stop it for any reason, it will not try to restart. But if it fails or any other reason, then it will try to restart. And then I'm going to put it in a network. So I'm going to uh, define a network down at the bottom, next cloud network. And then I'm going to define the database that we'll be using, the MySQL. So the service underneath the services is called Big Bear Nextcloud DB. The container name is going to be called Big Bear Nextcloud DB. The image is the Docker image, so this will be coming off Docker Hub by default, and this is MySQL, and the tag will be 8. So restart on failure. So that means if it fails, it will try to restart, but if, if any other reason, then it will not try to restart. And then volumes, so Nextcloud, MySQL, data. This is the local volume that's defined down at the bottom. And then on the container side is var, lib, MySQL. Do not change the container side. And then environment variables. So the MySQL root password is dockage. The MySQL database is Nextcloud. 
the MySQL user is Dockage. The MySQL password is Dockage. I would recommend changing the password at least uh, on these. And then next, uh, the networks down here. So I'm going to put it in the next called network. And then the network is defined down here. It's a bridge network. And then the volumes are de defined right here. So next cloud config, that's a local uh, a dr a driver. So next cloud data, that's a local volume. And then next cloud MySQL data, that's a local volume as well. So I'm gonna go over here to copy raw file. I'm gonna click it. Then I'm gonna go over my dockage and get the setup installed. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to start on my dockage. I'm going to go to compose up here. Then I'm going to go to uh, the stack name, the text input right here. I'm going to type in next cloud stack. And then I'm going to come over to the editor. I'm going to paste in the Docker compose that I explained over in Big Bear Video Assets. And then we're going to go ahead and deploy. Now, what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker images, getting them uh, extracted, getting them up with Docker Compose underneath, and then using the Docker engine as well, um, because this does use the Docker engine. And then it's also setting up the volumes and the networks. So we got it up and running. So now I'm going to go over the stack options. So um, if you go back to the home page, you'll see statuses right here. So active stacks, exited stacks, and inactive stacks. You, you, you'll be able to see a list of your stacks over here. So I'm going to go into it. So you'll, you'll, you'll have your actions up here. So you can edit the stack. Um, so, so you can edit the Docker and pose over here. And then you can also add a, a container which is a service underneath the services. So this is uh, the services, and it just added a NGINX service underneath the services. So um, you can also delete it from the UI over here, and then it's gone. Um, uh, you can edit the uh, ser uh, services like this. And uh, once you edit over here, it shows over here and vice versa. You can add URLs. You can also set environment variables and internal networks and external networks. Um, you can have actions up here. So deploy the changes, save the changes, stop and inactive, and then discard the changes. I'm going to discard the changes. So now you can restart the stack. You can update the current tags on the stack and then stop the stack, stop and inactive, and then delete the stack. You can also see the containers in the stack right here. And you can go to the UI from here. You can also go to the bash and go into the container. There we go. We're inside. So now you can go to SH and do the same thing. So you can do it from this one too. Um, you can see the logs down here. It's great for debugging and be able to see what's what's as, exactly happening. You can see a read-only version of the Docker Compose over here. And um, so that's a little bit about the stack options in Dockage. So now we're going to go to the UI, but before we do that, we're going to scroll down uh, to the read-only version of Docker and Pose right here, and we're going to I need to take note of Big Bear Next Cloud DB right here. This is going to be the ho host name, and then MySQL uh, da a database right here is Next Cloud. The MySQL user is Dockage or whatever you picked, and then MySQL password is Dockage for me, but it can be different for you. So now that we have note of those, I'm going to go to the UI now and get it set up. So now we're going to go to the UI. So we're going to put HTTPS and then the IP and then the port. Um, the IP will be your dockage IP. Um, I'm not going to go to it uh, from clicking the port in here because uh, that does not uh, go to HTTPS. It goes to HTTP. So now I'm going to go to it. So now, since it has a self-signed certificate, you're going to say advanced and then proceed. Now we're going to put our username in and then a password. And then now I'm going to say storage and da database. I'm going to click it. I'm going to go to MySQL uh, slash MariaDB. And then now I'm going to put the database user as dockage, or uh, this will be whatever you put in your MySQL user. And then the database password will be dockage for me. 
and that might be different for you. And then the database name will be Nextcloud. And then the database host will be Big Bear uh, Next uh, Cloud uh, DB. So now you'll have the database host in, the database name, the database password, and the da database user. And then now I'm going to say install. And now this can take a little bit to install because it's got to connect to the, uh, the database and get the table set up. So now we got it up and running and the recommended apps is co coming up. So that means that we did successfully install it. So I'm going to skip this. And you can install those recommended apps if you'd like. It comes up with a, no a nice little video. So I'm going to skip that. Um, you can go to files up here and see your files. And then you can have a fo folders in here. And then you can go to a, an example markdown file. Um, you can go to a PDF. And you can go to a... Um, if we go backwards, we can go to a MP4 and a image. There we go. So you can have recent, favorite, shares, tags. You can see the deleted files. You can see how much you're using the file set settings. And um, you can go into the photos right here, and you can see all your photos. And then you can go into them and then go, go through them. Um, you can go to photos, videos, albums, uh, coll collaborative albums, people, folders, fa uh, favorites on this day, sh shared with, tags, places, maps. Um, you can go up here to search. You can go to no notifications over here. And then um, you can go to search contacts. And then you can set your status, appearance and disability, personal settings. You can go in here and go to your settings. Um, you can go to the administration settings. And then you can have more settings over here. So that's a little bit about uh, the Nextcloud UI. So I just went over step by step on getting Nextcloud with my SQL running on dockage. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description. So stay tuned for more.